It's the Weather Extreme video. This is the morning edition for Friday, the 16th of January. I'm James Spann. Hey, the sun is back today. How about that? We'll expect low 50s and we stay dry for the weekend. Next interesting system comes toward the end of next week. We'll take a look at things this morning. This is the water vapor satellite view. The wave that brought the rain, the sleet, the snowflakes yesterday. That is now well to the east and we have good sinking air motion. And that subsidence will bring a sunny day today. Pretty cold to start the day. Birmingham at 26. Uh, we also note there's a bit of freezing fog. That's just fog when temperatures are below 32, but I've had of no, heard, heard, heard of no issues related to that. Uh, there is a bit of black ice over in Atlanta this morning. Uh, looks like Hartsfield is showing 33, but apparently some parts of the city are below freezing. But no trouble around here. Just a, a nice day today and really around the nation. Quiet coast to coast. Hardly any watches, warnings, or advisories which is rather odd for the middle of January. Nationally, temperatures are moderating up north, and again, some folks in the upper Midwest will be above freezing for the first time this year today. This is the rain for the next five days, valid through Wednesday morning of next week. Basically nothing here. Our next chance of rain comes just beyond this period. Check modeling the GFS, the Global Forecast System. This is the 06Z run, valid at noon today. Troughing off the Atlantic coast. Northwest flow aloft, dry air, and a sunny sky today. We'll expect a high in the low 50s in most spots. It'll feel pretty good. Tomorrow, we'll warm into the upper 50s with a bright sunny sky. We'll start the day around freezing, but again, a nice warm-up. Now, Sunday, a fairly strong upper trough rotates through here. Uh, and Really, by midday Sunday, the axis is east of the state, but the air is dry, so there's no rain with this and just a few scattered clouds. And temperatures back off a little bit, but really uh, not much. In fact, the uh, new guidance is coming in with temperatures unchanged, uh, suggesting upper 50s on Sunday. So we might need to bump the numbers up a little bit if that trend keeps up. But bottom line is should be another nice day. Monday of next week, pretty much the same deal. The sky will be sunny. And again, we could see some low 60s on Monday. Tuesday, dry and pleasant. And Wednesday of next week, we're still rain-free. So it's a nice chance to dry out here and enjoy the sun. Now, this is Thursday, and you can see uh, energy uh, coming at us in the uh, uh, southern branch over Texas. And down below that, rain breaks out. Rain should be falling over much of Texas by midday Thursday. Now, we're dry on Thursday, but clouds will likely increase during the day. And some of that rain will likely arrive Thursday night. And this is Friday at noon. And really, this run of the GFS is showing a, uh, a weaker surface low farther south. Uh, we've, we've seen other runs that, that bring a good little snow band up and through here, but this one does not. And it's just too early. This is a week away. Uh, no way of resolving the issue at this point. Check the European just for the fun of it. This is midnight Thursday night, and it's kind of similar. It's got maybe some light rain up in here, but uh, the better rain, the detectable rain, measurable rain is over the southern part of the state, which is somewhat similar to the GFS solution. Uh, this is Friday morning, and European tries to print out maybe a few snowflakes over the northeastern corner of the state, but uh, on that OZ batch of runs, the snow chances look low, but again, other runs have shown a good chance, so we just don't know yet. It is, it's going to be an interesting feature anytime you have a surface low in the Gulf in January and colder air in place. It's just something you have to watch. And then this is the following day, Saturday the 24th, that looks sunny and cool. And on Sunday the 25th, uh, sunny and cool. Now, on the next day, the 26th, we note uh, the GFS wants to bring this big old trough down and through here across the uh, central United States and maybe setting up a cold air shot. And with the trough axis setting up in that position, sometimes that opens the doors for winter weather mischief. That's a European model at the same time. It's, it's pretty similar. So getting some signs here that just maybe there could be a fairly decent cold pop uh, toward the end of the month, uh, here's a look at the CPC temperature outlook, and it does have temperatures below average over much of the nation. This is January 23rd through the 29th. Now, temperatures off the ensembles really don't reflect that. It's still got highs in the 40s and lows in the 20s, and that's cold. Um, and again, we'll check the teleconnections, the Arctic Oscillation, and again, it's giving us mixed signals here. It's got a negative spike uh, here in about five days, and it goes positive late this month, and the same thing for the NAO. So, 
Uh, confidence, I would say, in anything you know beyond seven days here is low at this point. Uh, that's it for the Weather Extreme video today. We'll have notes in the blog. Next video here by 4 o'clock this afternoon. If you can't catch us this evening on the live stream of the television side, ABC 3340 News at 4, 5, 6, and 10. Thanks for watching. Have a great day, and God bless.